Update 1.5 for World of Tanks is one of the most content-filled to date. It includes World of Tanks Premium Account, the ability to blacklist your least favorite map, Swedish medium tanks with hydro pneumatic suspension, changes to artillery, reworked characteristics for Japanese heavy tanks and the FV-4005, improvements to the Swedish heavy's characteristics, and new styles. Let's get started. With Update 1.5, the long-awaited feature of excluding maps from rotation is finally added to the game. It can be done in a special menu. The matchmaker will not send your vehicles Tier 4 or higher to the excluded map in standard battles. However, the map will still be active for Assault, Encounter, and Grand Battles game modes. When playing in a platoon, only the platoon commander's choice will be excluded. You can choose to exclude a different map four hours after excluding the previous one. The new feature will allow for a more enjoyable playing experience. World of Tanks Premium Account is an important part of Update 1.5. Unlike Wargaming Premium Account, it only works in World of Tanks. For the same price, the player not only gets experience and credits bonuses, but also a bunch of useful features. One of them is the manageable bonus for experience. The experience earned in your last victory can be tripled five times per day, no matter the vehicle. The bonus is stacked with the usual experience multipliers. This means that one particularly good battle can result in earning as much experience as you would make in five average ones. The second useful feature will increase your credit income. After each battle, an additional 10% of the credits you earned will be put into a special stock. With this, you can save up to 750,000 credits. Every seven days, the collected credits are added to the player's account automatically. The next feature is a chain of consecutive daily premium missions. Any player can complete them and be rewarded with credits, additional experience, and bonds. World of Tanks Premium account also affects the platoon bonus. Players not only get an experience bonus, but also a credit bonus, an additional 15%. Additionally, players with Wargaming Premium or even without will get a 10% bonus too. Finally, World of Tanks Premium account users can exclude an additional map from the pool. Now let's talk about the new vehicles. The new Swedish medium tanks are the stars of Update 1.5. The medium tank branch was extended with the UDIS-14 Alt-5 at Tier 8, the UDIS-16 at Tier 9, and the UDIS-15-16 at Tier 10. The feature that makes them distinctive among other medium tanks is their suspension. It changes the hull's elevation angle. In turn, this allows for an unprecedented negative 13 degrees of gun depression. A great help when taking advantage of terrain irregularities. The Tier 8 vehicle is a versatile medium tank with standard characteristics. Don't heavily rely on your armor. However, this Swedish vehicle makes up for the mediocre armor with its maneuverability and precise 105mm gun. 360 damage per shot is a great reason to use this vehicle. The UDIS-16 sits at Tier 9. The look and temper of this one practically screams to us that it's not just your typical medium tank. The hull and turret armor are not the strongest among other Tier 9 vehicles, but it's not a big problem during battle. Its frontal armor is angled so much that the enemy will never know for sure what their shot will result in, a ricochet or penetration. They will know, though, that they will get 390 damage in return. The UDIS 1516 proudly crowns the Swedish medium tank branch. Even some heavies will feel its 440 damage per shot. Another feature of this vehicle is its concealment. This tank has the smallest profile at its tier. And thanks to its fantastic gun depression angles, the UDIS will feel comfortable in many positions that aren't typical for medium tanks, which will definitely surprise the enemy. The unusual Swedish medium tanks will diversify the familiar medium tank experience. Their uniqueness draws attention right away. Utilize all their advantages and be victorious. After Update 9.18, artillery became more dependent on their team. The focus shifted from dealing damage to supporting allies. By stunning enemy vehicles, SPGs helped their team win the battle. It became clear over time that the original stun mechanic was not ideal and changes were needed. 
The duration of a stun is the sum of two components. The first component does not depend on damage and is specified in the shell settings by a non-dimensional coefficient from 0 to 1. In the garage, it's displayed as the minimum stun duration. The second component is a variable. It directly depends on damage caused. The sum of two components equals 1, but each SPG has a different component ratio. With this update, the constant component will be decreased by 5% from the maximum stun duration. This automatically reduces the minimum stun duration for all SPGs in the game. Then, changes were made to the second stun component that depends on damage. The damage value was decreased on the edge of the shell explosion area. This results in a steady reduction of burst damage within the whole burst radius, so the stun duration decreases as well. Additionally, if a vehicle is already stunned, the next stun duration will be halved. This will help heavy vehicles perform better even under fire of several SPGs. A heavy or a super heavy small liner will also help to further negate the effect of the stun. With them, the time of the repeated stun decreases by 10 and 20% respectively. The characteristics of certain SPGs also changed. For some vehicles, the burst radius decreased by 5%. The shell velocity for the Conqueror GC was reduced. The GW Panther's accuracy was slightly decreased. The reload time was increased by one second, and the dispersion on hull traverse increased a bit. Thanks to these changes, heavy tank gameplay on open maps will now be less stressful and more engaging. New tanks are not the only thing that improved the Swedish vehicle tree. The characteristics of the Emil 1 Emil 2 and Krundvan were reworked. For each tank, the number of shells in the drum was reduced to 3 instead of 4. This improved the damage per shot and the reload times of the top guns. The time between shots within the drum was reduced for the Emil 2 and Krundvan. The damage per minute of all three vehicles was also significantly increased. All these changes combined to make the Swedish heavy tanks differ even more from other auto-loading vehicles, resulting in them being more dangerous on the battlefield. It's a great reason to start researching the branch if you haven't already. Some changes were made to the Type 4 Heavy and Type 5 Heavy. The goal is to decrease the HE damage output while retaining the idea behind these vehicles. Specifically, the characteristics of the top 14cm and 15cm guns were changed. The HE gun became less formidable. The damage of standard HE shells decreased to 900. The special HE shells became HES shells, and their penetration increased to 192mm, but their damage was decreased to 900. The armor-piercing shell of the 14cm gun had its penetration bumped to 257mm and the special shell now penetrates 290 millimeters. It's now easier to use this as your main gun efficiently. Other welcome changes include the Type 5 Heavy now reverses 4 km per hour faster, more swiftly turns in one spot, and shoots more accurately on the move and when rotating the hull. Regarding the FV-4005, this tank destroyer lost a bit of speed, both going forwards and in reverse, and it now turns a bit slower. The engine power was decreased. The gun still has its colossal damage per shot, but it now takes longer to aim and shoots less accurately. The playstyle of this vehicle hasn't changed, but it's now harder to achieve amazing results in battle. With update 1.5, new sets of styles for all nations are added to the exterior menu. They are available for purchase for gold for vehicles of any tier. Every type of map has its own camouflage. Express yourself in-game with the new styles. And that's it! Update 1.5 turned out to be substantial. Be sure to see all the changes in the game. Good luck on the battlefield!